Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, dear friends. This is your brother Ibrahim Khan, Darus Salam's youth coordinator, and welcome to Call Upon Me, a series wherein we reflect upon some of the most beautiful ada'a found in the Deen of Islam. Today's da'a is found in Al Mustadrak, narrated by a tabi'i, Al Aswad ibn Yazid al Nakhai, from one of our teachers, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud. Ibn Mas'ud recited to his students of the generation of the Tabi'een a verse from Surah Al Maryam, verse number 87, where Allah Azawajal says, فَعَدَوْضُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ لَا يَمْلِكُونَ الشَّفَاعَةَ إِلَّا مَنْ اتَّخَذَ عِنْدَ الرَّحْمَانِ عَهْدًا None will have power of intercession except he who had taken from the Most Merciful a covenant. He then mentioned that on the Day of Judgment, Allah will proclaim, مَنْ كَانَ لَهُ عِنْدِي عَهْدًا فَلْيَقُمْ Whoever has with me a covenant, then let them stand. The students asked him, how should we interact with and respond to this verse and the situation presented by this verse? He then informed them, that the covenant mentioned in this verse is the kalima ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta wahdaka la sharika lak wa anna muhammadan abduka wa rasuluk i bear witness that there is no deity worthy of worship except you alone you have no partners in worship and that muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is your servant and your messenger and that we are to prove our commitment to this oath in our life he then taught his students the following supplication, the following du'a. Allahumma fatur as-samawati wal-ard, alim al-ghaybi wa-shahada, inni a'hadu ilayka fi hadhi al-hayati dunya innaka in takilni ila nafsi tuqarribuni min al-shar wa tuba'iduni min al-khayr, wa inni in athiqu illa bi rahmatik. فَجَعَلْهُ لِي عِنْدَكَ عَهْدًا تُؤَدِّهِ إِلَيَّ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ إِنَّكَ لَا تُخْلِفُ الْمِعَادِ O oh Allah, originator of the heavens and the earth, knower of the seen and the unseen, I testify in this worldly life of mine that if you leave me to myself, you are by that bringing me closer to harm and distancing me from good. I have no confidence except in your mercy. So let that be a covenant that you will deliver to me on the day of judgment. For you never break your promises. I want to focus on the portion of the dua where Ibn Mas'ud says, Wa inni in athiqu illa bi rahmatik. I have no confidence except in your mercy. This portion of the dua teaches us to lay ourselves bare before Allah after we have tried our best to fulfill our oath to Him and to express that we have no hope, no certainty in our own capability to be protected, delivered, or to be successful if and unless He overtakes our fate. We don't think we can do any good for ourselves or others unless Allah bestows good upon us. Let us learn supplications such as this one and make the notions within them the pillars of our relationship with Allah. Allahumma anta al-qawi wa nahnu du'afa'u ilayk. O Allah, you are the all-strong and we are of the most weak ones in your presence. Anta al-ghani wa nahnu al-fuqara'u ilayk. You are the one who has no need and we are in utter need of you. So we entreat you by your promise to not reject our hands that we have raised to call upon you to grant us your infinite mercy despite our minuscule capacity. Jazakumullahu khayran for listening. If you enjoyed this content, you can find more of what Dust Youth has to offer on our Instagram at dust.youth. Tune in tomorrow at 4 p.m. for another episode of Call Upon, call upon Us by Das Youth, as well as all of the other Ramadan programming that Darussalam has to offer.
Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.